What's up everybody? Today on Cars and Cameras, we're taking a break from the Turbo Rail project to bring you to Texas. We're all doing a test day on the Tillotson T4 cart with the guys from Go Power Sports. This will be the first time we have more than one T4 racing cart on the track at one time, and we have four. So we're gonna be doing some open practice, a head-to-head -head race, and a little bit of shenanigans as well. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the episode. We are at the Dallas Karting Complex for a Tillotson T4 four-way head-to-head race. I've never been on the track with other T4s at the same time, only test days alone. So we're gonna get things unloaded and we have the entire track to ourselves for three hours. We're gonna get some track time in. Look at those beauties. <laughs> The Tillotson T4 is designed to introduce new drivers like ourselves to higher levels of karting in a cost-effective and easy-to-use manner. The chassis are high quality and durable, and they're powered by the Tillotson 225 RS engine, which is very similar to the regular powerful Tillotson 225 on our yard carts and minibikes, but they're sealed and limited to 6,500 RPM. First out, we're gonna have myself, Charles, Ike's on the sideline taking B-roll and providing commentary, and uh, uh, Paul and Taylor from Go Power Sports. Should be a good time. All right, so uh, Charles is filling up this T4. It sabotaged me. <laughs> yeah. It gave me no gas. That's right. I so me and Charles are going to get to know the track a little bit, and then all four of us are going to link up and go hot. Right. Charles, are you looking forward to this, buddy? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I like, I like this. I know there's no dirt anywhere, but I'll be fine. I mean, you know, one of us gets off the track a little bit, you know, it might be a little dirt. <laughs> oh, in fact, maybe I ought to go out there. I'll get some, I'll get some dirt on the track for you. No, 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 no. Here we go. The Dallas Karting Complex is a seven-turn road course used for rental and professional kart racing. Trying to get up to speed and be competitive in the three hour window we have the track to ourselves was ambitious to say the least. The idea was to get a few minutes of practice and then do a five lap wheel to wheel race between the four T4s. Unfortunately, Charles's cart had other ideas during the practice session. So, Charles's cart is not running. We bought, all about pulled our arms out trying to crank this thing up, but Charles, John went ahead out there. Whew. And uh, oh wow, somebody was on the limiter. Oh yeah, he was on the limiter. So John's out there and he's gonna give them boys a run for their lives. I'm telling yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. I tried. Yeah, J Charles tried. None of us had perfect gearing. Mine was the tallest, meaning I had the highest top speed but the worst acceleration, and Taylor had the shortest, meaning he had the lowest top speed and the best acceleration. I did have one major advantage up my sleeve though, since I weighed about 50 pounds lighter than the other competitors. trying to prepare for go-karts that's it's just a lot to jump yeah i mean some yeah. things get overlooked no big deal exactly we're gonna get this one worked out uh, but it's a lot of fun out there yeah i yeah. can't wait to get some seat time yeah yeah oh yeah so the guys finally got charles's go-kart running they think it was a uh, stale fuel and a gummed up carburetor uh, so charles only got a few minutes of warm-up before uh, we all lined up for our five lap race now, before we get into that race, I just want to say that my driving in today's video was like the first half of Talladega Nights. It was first or last. It was kind of cringy. You're just going to have to watch. All right, I'm going to come over here to the corner over here. I'm going to be on the inside corner. This is the... Oh, there's a rock there. So this is a corner that it's pretty tight. I, I see a lot of people like hit her a little hot over here. So I'm gonna get some good slides on this one.
green flag. You can really see that I'm driving too aggressively and looking behind me too much. Most of my experience has been alone hot lapping in the backyard, so I think that the manners of driving in a pack is something that I can really work on. Charles, meanwhile, was doing his best. He's a good racer and has plenty of experience oval racing mini cups, but he just didn't get enough time to learn the track. We were three laps into our race and the Go Power Sports boys were in first and third place. I was in second and Charles was in fourth. We planned on racing for five laps, but the checkered flag didn't come out until about lap nine. I think part of the reason I was driving so aggressively is because I was trying to chase down Taylor, who was a very talented driver. In the higher speed section of the track, I would gain on him because of my taller gearing, and in the tighter, low speed sections, he would pull away because of his shorter gearing. Appears to be John in first, Taylor second. okay. I was the slow one on the track anyway. Maybe my axle slid over or something. Oh, my set screw came out. Dang, set screw came out. 
And this one's loose. Oh well. It'll be fine. Just a... I mean, you know, I'm just, I'm just, you know, I'm just running it harder than everybody else. That's why my, that's why my equipment broke. I believe that was pretty good heat. First and second place, they were right on each other. John had a taller gearing, which is going to help him on the top end. Taylor has a lower gear ratio, which is going to help him on acceleration coming out of the corners. However, John is probably about between 50 and 60 pounds lighter. So the taller gear on John's cart could benefit him. Now he'd do a lot better if he had a lower gear ratio because he's not taking advantage of the higher RPMs, uh, which is where that engine probably makes most of its power. It's not bad. I think that was a great run. Charles's axle did shift over, which I got to say that it's not hard to do because the G-force is out yeah, here and, pretty good. And it was, I'm going to say it was my fault because I noticed I had brake fade and then I went to no brakes. Uh-huh. It's because it was It's because it was shifted over, and, it was and it was overheating. The, yep. Yeah, so, you know, and I, should, I, should I mean, it I happens. That, but now, uh, Go Power Sports just got this cart and it was a demo cart, which means... It, they it was put already it, put together. Okay, so Tillerson put it together. But I don't that, uh, no, not necessarily Tillerson, oh, but you somebody know, it was already it. someone put it together. Okay. And you know, when it's already together and already been raced, you wouldn't figure that you would have to Yeah, nothing check there's nothing over, wrong so. with the equipment. It no, just, no, it just it's like it just one of those shifted over. Things. I guess every oh, yeah. time you race you need to you, check stuff. You need to check things. Right. So. That was a fantastic first race. I'm gonna hop on another cart that's got a different gearing setup and see if I can improve my lap time. Ike and Bernie are going to hop on the two-seater and get some beauty shots. So. All right, so I'm going to hop on the two-seater rental car, and we're going to be making some laps. Got the camera vehicle going out there. After Ike got to joyride on a two-seater rental cart, he hopped on a T4. But unfortunately, our GoPro decided it was done for the day. So we had a fantastic day out here at the Dallas Karting Complex. Best day at work. We yeah. keep saying that, but <laughs> we're just gonna keep topping them. And you're starting to get the hang of it. Yeah, I, I just mean, need, I need more padding on my back, that's all. Yeah, no, it's this is not like riding in the dirt in the backyard, uh -huh. but it is so rewarding when you can nail it. Uh, and you know, the owner of the track or the guy working here said we're only two to three seconds off of uh, two-stroke time, which is nice. a huge accomplishment for uh, 225cc four-stroke. So these Tiltons are killer. We had, uh, we had one fatality today, but that's okay. It happens. Yep. I mean, <laughs> one out of four, considering we didn't really spend enough time on prep, I think is pretty darn good. So yeah, not too bad. Fantastic time. If you want to check out one of these Tillotson T4s, you can find it in the link in the description. Uh, and if you want to place an order with one, be sure to tell Go Power Sports that Cars and Cameras sent you at checkout. If you end up buying a Tillotson T4, send me a message on Instagram and uh, let's link up and go yeah. racing. Yeah, exactly. More T4s, the better. We're gonna try to get a, we're gonna try to get a couple more maybe, and uh, so we can start racing back home in North Carolina. But these are such a blast. Uh, can't thank the guys from Go Power Sports enough. And we're, we gotta watch Ike struggle to get out yeah. of the seat real quick. Look at him with his head sock and sunglasses. <laughs> Can't thank like, Go Power Sports enough. He looks like a football enough. player from the 50s <laughs> with the leather heads. <laughs>
We had an awesome time during this practice day. Uh, racing T4s wheel to wheel is a lot different than racing in the backyard wheel to wheel or even rental race carts wheel to wheel. Uh, next up, Go Power Sports just sent me down to Florida to compete in the Tillotson 225 series. So it'll be my first ever, um, I guess, professional club level uh, race uh, ever on a new track. So that video is going to be coming out next Wednesday. Monday, we have another Turbo Rail episode coming up for you. We have a lot of cool stuff going on. Be sure to hit that notification bell to get notified as soon as we upload for that Turbo Rail episode that's coming out. If you're interested in Tillotson T4, you can check one out at a link in the description of today's video from GoPowerSports.com. Uh, if you end up getting one, let me know on Instagram. Let's go racing together. And also, uh, I'm going to link another website in the description. I know Tillotson is doing demo days so if you just want to try out a cart and not necessarily purchase one yet they're doing demo days where you can get some seat time without having to purchase one so i'll link that and you can see if there are any happening near you but anyway thank you all for watching we'll catch you next time